you write the type of the model in this part here so I'll just put the name of a random cements manufacturer here and here in the model section I'm going to write AAC for example in the next part it needs you to write the cost down and uh, let's just put zero in for now and here it needs the address of a site that the information will be extracted from and I'm going to just give the URL of the site that I opened up before I hit OK and then OK here again I'm going to edit this to 3 then I'm going to hit OK again and then after doing that I'm going to go to the annotate section open the keynote and I go to the keynote settings and the settings I'm going to choose browse and then I'm going to go to the destination that I put the keynote in I hit a Ctrl C to copy it, a Ctrl V to paste it and then open close this here and then OK I hit view to see it so there's a problem here and in this part this part isn't shown correctly this is the problem that I talked to you about I hit save I go back to the notepad I save the notepad and then I go to the save as option and then I'm going to change the encoding to UTF-16BE then I rename it to V2 and then I'm going to write that after a dash here and then I hit save I close the notepad and I go back to the Revit file and open up the keynote section and then I go again to the keynote settings and I browse again and then I load up the V2 part but it seems we have a problem here I think this problem occurs in the new Windows 10 version but in normal circumstances we don't have a Unicode that solves all these problems so I open the notepad again I hit save as so let's change the encoding to this one here I rename the file to v3 so let's go back to Revit file and browse again let's see what happens I hit the v3 version and I open up so it seems the problem hasn't been solved so I just go back to the notepad again I open it up and then I save as again but this time I change the encoding to UTF-16LE and I rename the file to the fourth version v4 I save it and then I close the notepad let's just get rid of the other ones because they're not useful to us alright let's go back to the Revit file now and I browse again and it seems that the reload is successful I hit view again and now it's been fixed so the option here that says white trial board sand and cement coating is not on our selection so let's see why so I hit OK to close it up and then I go back to the notepad and here it is in the W-02 line I select the wall section and then I get rid of it I hit tab and then Control V if you could excuse me for one second tab and then Control V again and there it is so I go to the file section and I save it let's go back to the Revit and then I reload it again hit OK on this the problem seems to be in the text of the wall that we had in the keynote it seems it hasn't loaded up correctly so I'm going to delete it from here in this line I hit Ctrl X and then tab Ctrl V and then tab again and I write walls in here I save the file again now let's go and check if we can reload it this time so it seems like the issue hasn't been fixed yet let's see what we can do about it let's go back to the notepad file I think an error or bug has appeared in this part where I've written walls I hit a backspace to just get these two together and then I save the file I hit reload in the Revit again and it seems like the issue has been fixed and just like this so I hit OK and then I'm going to go back and choose the wall section 
I hit edit type and I edit the material go over here and open this up and I select this line here a wall filled with light concrete blocks so I go back and this section it's called the mark and you can write the name of the brand that you want in here so I'm just going to name the random manufacturer that we have and we used before I hit apply so after I've successfully done that it's time to go to the next part and that is the cut section if you just pay close attention to the cat file we have a hatching here in front of the line so I go back here and I click on the cut section so I select this hatching here which is the closest thing that we can find to our model I double click on it and in the orientation part I'm going to choose the align with element or maybe let's just get a duplicate first so we can be sure so in this duplicate I'm going to write the name as ACC block just like this hit align with element again and then I'm going to change the import scale to 0 0.5 hit OK again and another OK and here I'm going to choose a color for it after I've done that I'm going to hit OK and then apply mm, it seems it's all fine so I'm going to hit OK again and there we go based on the information that we have in here we have to pay close attention to the abbreviation that we have in BIM and that I stands for information B stands for building in here M stands for modeling as you know and as I said I stands for information so building information modeling and based on that these are the informations that we need to put in one part of it is the technical information that we have here and it's all about our materials you can take the information from the material section that we had before or you can just take them from the window that I've opened up here it's all based on what's more useful to you and in this section you can add any extra information that you could find useful take a look at this part what do we have here we have keynote and what is our keynote or user keynotes in the keynote section you can write anything like this part in here and then after that you can fill in the information about the model or the brand the description the type mark or anything that could come in handy the cost the fire rating or anything that you want all right now that i've explained that let's hit ok let's go back to the structural plans the plan that i've chosen needs to be down to the ground floor so i'm going to go to this section and choose it in the structural plans let's just open this part up and here let's see if we can find it the ground floor and it's this one right here all right and here from this menu here that says wall center line we're going to go up to the part that says core face exterior i choose the pick line option and let's just start the modeling so it appears there's a problem and it doesn't show that the wall that we tried to draw over here and the error says that there is a problem with the elements so let's just check them i go to the view section so to see where i've tried to draw it let's go to the east view that we have here i close this here and it seems like the wall has been drawn so let's just go to the north view so the first important point that you need to know is the fact that we start the file from the underground level and we build it up because we need the plan to be based on the foundation let's take another look at the cad file uh, let's take a look at the cut let's bring this over here 
and it's here just pay attention to this part here we draw a line right here like this and our base point is from minus 2.10 and that's where the ground starts and let's take a look at this part in detail here this part it says the foundation coat so this one over here is our zero level this is where it starts so we have the numbers here the 30 centimeters and 10 centimeters that we have and here in the part below it says blockage just have that in mind before we go back to the revit file here so let's cut this up a bit i take a save up to this point just in case so i'm going to draw level right over here so let's see where we should put it and right here and then i go to the structure section so let's go over here again and let's see what we should rename this one because we need to edit it i think i'm going to name it underground base point plan and there you go i hit yes on this window i maximize it i select all of it again i right click on it and then i maximize again so let's just see if this new level that we've drawn is up here in the level work set section so i go over here and i select the cat file that i had before and i pull it up to here and for the wall that we've drawn i'm going to choose this point here as the baseline right here in the baseline wall and i go over here and I select this here and I hit edit type the hatching that we have in the course section I'm going to select solid for it and I'm going to choose the same orange color that we had before okay on these and then I'm going to save the